Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX-230 Pro KVM HDMI extension kit with full KVM functionality. This product allows you to very easily share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 70 meters away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 LAN cable. The product also provides local loopback functionality at the primary location, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're simultaneously broadcasting to your remote location. It also includes audio extraction capabilities at the remote location that will strip the audio from the media stream and allow you to pass that along to a soundbar or a home stereo for better quality audio. Finally, it also supports KVM functionality at the remote location, which allows you to connect up a keyboard and mouse here to remotely control a computer connected up at the primary location. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators. I'll list the features and functions the product provides. And then finally, I'll come back and actually do a short demonstration just to show you how simple this product will be to use once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module, the receiver module, two power supplies. These are DC, five volt, one half amp power supplies. You'll plug them into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which you plug into the module, and that'll provide all the power you'll need. You'll also find a set of brackets you can use with the modules to mount them up off the ground and out of the way. You'll also find a specialty cable. It's a USB-A to USB-A, and this allows you to connect the transmitter up to a computer if you decide to use the KVM functionality. Finally, there's a full instruction manual also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand about the solution to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the modules, list the features and functions, and then do that short demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, and both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. You'll also find a specialty cable. It's a USB-A to USB-A, and this is used to connect the transmitter module up to a computer if you'd like to remotely control it from the secondary site with a keyboard and mouse, and I'll show you those connections in a minute. So let's start with the transmitter module. It's got mounting holes on either side can be used with the bracketing kit that's included, and that allows you to mount this up off the ground and out of the way if you choose to do that. On the one end, you'll find a reset button. That can be used to reset the module if needed by holding it in for a couple of seconds. Next to that, you'll find a LAN port, and that's where one end of the CAT6, CAT6A, or CAT7 cable plugs in. The other end plugs into the other module. To the right of that is a USB connection. Again, this is the transmitter module, so you use the cable I just showed you to connect this up to a computer if you decide you want to control that from the secondary site. There's a KVM indicator here. Once you make the connection to the computer and you make this connection to the receiver, if you connect the keyboard and mouse up at the remote location, that will light up letting you know the function's enabled. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's functional and ready for use. On the other end of the module, you'll find a 5-volt DC port right there. You'll use the included power supply, plug that into the wall, plug the barrel connector in here to provide power for the module. To the right of that are two full-size HDMI ports, HDMI out and HDMI in. The HDMI in port is connected to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with the remote location. This product provides local loopback functionality, and that's what that second HDMI port is for. If you'd like to enjoy the content here that you're sending to the remote location, connect the second cable up from this to a local monitor to enjoy that content. The receiver module is very similar, again, mounting holes on either side for the bracketing kit. On the back, you'll find a reset button here, same as on the transmitter. That's the other port that you'll connect the other end of the cable into. There are two USB connections right here for a mouse and a keyboard connection at the remote location if you'd like to enable the KVM functionality. Once you make that connection, the KVM indicator will come on, letting you know it sees the mouse and keyboard and it's enabled the KVM functionality. Power indicator to the right, again, that'll come on once the power on self-test has been passed. On the other end, you'll find another DC port right here for the second power supply. You'll find a left and right output port. It's a three and a half millimeter analog port. You can connect this up to a soundbar or home stereo. If you'd like audio from the HDMI media stream to be passed along to that device for better quality. And then finally, an HDMI port right here labeled HDMI out. That connects to the monitor at the remote location where you'd like to enjoy the content that's being sent from your primary location. And that's pretty much it for the two modules. 
The O-Ray EX-230 Pro-KVM is compatible with most modern media devices, including DVD players, game consoles, streaming devices, media players like Roku, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K media content, distances up to 70 meters support it between the primary and secondary site, it is both HDMI 1.4 and HDCP 1.4 compliant. It provides local loopback and HDID pass-through, as well as keyboard and mouse extension support. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the EX-230 Pro-KVM with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I have a laptop currently connected to this monitor, and I'm looping a video, and that's the media content I'd like to share with my remote location. Over here, I've set up a second monitor. This represents that remote location where I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary side. And that can be up to 40 meters away for 4K content and up to 70 meters away for 1080p content. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here, which is located at the primary site, and the receiver module here, which is located at the secondary site. Now, the first set of connections I'll make to both modules is the power supply because I wanna make sure I give them plenty of time to go through their power on self-test. So I've already plugged in both power supplies and those connect up to the DC input port on the back of both modules. It's got a barrel connection on the end of the cable, and that plugs right into the DC input port. And now I can connect up the LAN cable between them to make the connection between the two modules. And that has to be a CAT6, CAT6A, or a CAT7 cable. I have a short CAT6 cable right here, and I'll connect that up to the transmitter and the receiver. And now I can connect the monitor up at the receiver end, I've got an HDMI cable connected up to the monitor, and that plugs into the HDMI output port on the back of the receiver. Now, I'd mentioned before a power on self-test. The minute you add power to these modules, they start an internal power on self-test where they're checking the electronics, make sure everything's working okay. They're also checking the connection between the modules, and they'll settle in, waiting for the media content to be added to the transmitter side, and then they'll make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture downstream. So we'll give it another second, let it finish its power on self-test, and once that's done, I can connect the media content up here, and you'll see it transmitted to the remote location. So let's do that now. I'll disconnect the media source from here and plug that into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter module. And it'll take a second for that to realize it's got the media content and distribute it across that LAN connection to the secondary monitor. There you go. So now what you see is the media content from your primary location being encapsulated and transmitted across that LAN connection to the secondary location and displayed on this monitor. Now this product also offers a local loopback functionality, which allows me to continue to enjoy the content at the primary site that I'm distributing to the remote location. And to do that, you'll need a second HDMI cable, and you'll connect that up to the monitor, and then the other end of that cable to the HDMI output port on the transmitter. And again, it'll take a second to make the adjustment because you may have different resolutions on the monitors. And once it makes that adjustment, you'll see it come up on the primary site, and it'll eventually come up on the secondary site right there. So you've got local loopback in action, and you're transmitting that media content to the remote location. Another added benefit of this particular kit is the KVM functionality, which allows me to connect up a keyboard and mouse over here to control the computer on this end. And to do that, there's a specialized cable that comes with the kit that's a USB-A to USB-A, and that connects up on the transmitter side right here. And then on the remote side, you have two USB connections you can use with a wired mouse and a wired keyboard. I tend to like wireless products, so I've got a wireless dongle right here. I'll just plug that in, and then I've got the mouse right here, which is turned on. And you can see that I've got control of the mouse right over here. You can say I brought the bar up. So essentially what I've got is complete remote control of the computer at the primary site from my remote site. Again, 40 meters or 70 meters away, it allows me to use the computer at the primary site as if it was sitting right here with me at the secondary site. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray EX-230 Pro-KVM HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality helpful. It really does provide a very easy way of sharing all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or even further up to 70 meters away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT6, CAT6A or CAT7 cable. 
The product also features local loopback functionality, which is great because it allows you to enjoy the content at the primary site while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote site. The audio extraction capabilities are great because that will strip the audio from the HDMI media stream and allow you to pass it along to a soundbar for better quality audio. And the KVM functionality means you can connect the keyboard and mouse up at the remote location to remotely control the computer at the primary location. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.